Oh, no, no. We can't have a t-shirt. No. No. Well, we need a t-shirt. On the back it says, I, I complete If you're doing Brazil that, I'm guessing. <laughs> when it gets to this stage, you start to wilt a bit. Is it worth getting in the first <laughs> drop or no? Because to do four days, you know, I completed another seal for the drink festival. Is it? To do four days is a uh, It's a uh, yeah. no idea for that. Yeah. You don't want to go to work. No, it's hard work. Hard work's good. It's very hard work. But hard you know work. the tax man's going to say hello to you. Oh, it is, yeah. <laughs> but it's been uh, it's a fantastic advert. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. People are coming. Yeah. It's about, oh, no, you talk to them and say, oh, we do probably. Skip to deal. I do with the Yeah, yeah. The, the mum's on her way now. She's coming from Selby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh no. Right. <laughs> 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 it's the area. <laughs> well, these ones here we have rhubarb vodka liqueur, which is a beautiful rhubarb vodka, sadly not from the Yorkshire Triangle. Rhubarb vodka. The rhubarb's not from Wakefield. No, it's not. It's because we're of rhubarb. But we are a Scottish based company and it originated in Inverness, but it is very delightful and yummy. Sorry, Yorkshire Triangle. Yeah. And then we've got the Bramble Scotch whiskey liqueur, which is Scottish blackberry sweetened with honey and blended with a whiskey. So it's a very Moorish drink if you're into your whiskies, okay? And then we've got the Seville Orange Gin, which is a lovely drink from Worcestershire, that's made by Colin Phyllis, and tips as well. And it's just a really lovely one for the G&T drink, it's lovely to lengthen with a bit of tonic water. Can you tell us you put vinegar into vinegar and... Well, not vinegar. We've got, we've got vinegars, we have also have an oil and vinegar site in the shop. So we have like Scottish made, handmade vinegar, strawberry vinegar, and elderflower vinegar. And we've got a lovely cavalade, extra virgin olive oil. Sadly, that's the only thing from the shop that we don't see. It's not from the UK. Yeah. Because we, do, we can't grow all these. No, it's not. Which is sad. But we don't have to try anything. No, I, I, I'm actually fasting, so that's a bit of a problem there. But oh, no. I think some of my colleagues might want to be sick yeah. or something. Yeah. People being our main sponsors. Oh, great. Thank you. Get the logo on the front. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big weapon. Yeah. We've benefited from that because obviously it's a huge store here and everybody knows the company. It's so yeah. yeah. awesome. Yeah. 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 I mean, it seems as if you've got a price for this. Sorry, this is Judith, she's one of our councillors in Great Nets. Yeah, so we are with her. Yeah. Good. And, uh, so it's real, you know, a whole thing which is very down, it's temporary unique water cabins on the floor, temporary structure up at the farm, but now it's started to rebuild, got the restaurant on the floor. That's good. Can I pull your hand down? Thank you. What generation are you in this generation? Well, my dad's granddad started it. Your dad's granddad? No, my dad's dad. My granddad's dad, so my great granddad. Your great granddad started it. In 1929, yeah. He died in 1929. Yeah. Granddad in 1929. Yeah. Because he had butcher shops, he decided to get cattle. Yeah, we've got chicken. Sorry, Marjorie. Yeah, we've got chicken. 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 Yeah, we've and be closer to the school.
Yeah. 